audio for the first okay how's that is that better can you hear me now oh my gosh no audio for the first minute 41 seconds hi carla how did i mess that up okay hopefully carla you can hear us and melissa and everybody hi liz i made an adjustment okay never mind listen never mind because there was no audio and now never mind because there's audio i got um discombobulated briefly right before the stream and so i forgot to turn the audio on because hey um because i broke the mic stand because becky broke the mic stand i wasn't gonna say it i didn't break the mic stand he has to um i don't know clamp it to a piece of wood because of the way our desk is and i broke the wood but that's what you get for getting particle board so now well, this is something I had in the home, in the homestead. I have another one that's thicker. Oh, or, or, okay. It can't be too much thicker because otherwise the clamp won't work. I don't work. know if it's thicker, but it's, it's real wood. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so how's everybody doing? Hi, Lori Carlson. Hi, Lori. Lori Jean. How you doing? Um, so we're going to get into it and get into uh, what we're going to talk about. Which... No, where I just look like I went to work and I just went to work on the desk. Okay, you guys, when she says she went to work, you guys, that means she walked from the bedroom to the dining room. It's called luxuries. <laughs> Hi, Carrie. Is that not the life or what? Holy beans, I thought the no audio was me being technically challenged. <laughs> it, pro- it was Josh. It was Josh. Well, it all started with me. <laughs> you thought I was going to say you, huh? She thought I was going to say her. I love coconut water. Okay. Could, it, hopefully you guys can hear Becky. She don't got a mic today because uh, she broke it. So yeah, I got it out. I got it out. I won't say it anymore. I won't say it can anymore. Can we use our mic clips in there? No. We have a different whole oh, thing okay. going on right now. Like That's way too challenging for us. Thanks, Blue Kai. Hi, Trix. Hi, Richard. Hey, Richard. Okay. So we got a bunch of people on now. So now we can jump into... Our topic of the night, which is the Knott's Barrier Farm Taste of Calico has been extended, you guys. It has been extended, and, and we are excited. And the weekend after. Yeah, so if you if you look there on your screen right there, we're going uh, this Friday. It's sold out, but um, they added July 31st, August 1st, August 2nd, which is the weekend after this one coming up. And then they also added August 7th, 8th, and 9th, which is the one after that. So pretty awesome. And it's only $25, and you get five uh, uh, tastings, five tastes, as they call it. And uh, they have quite a bit of stuff there. And we'll go over that in a minute. But what I wanted to talk to you about, too, is if you look at the hours, originally when we bought our tickets for this upcoming weekend, we saw that um, it was only from 4 to 10, which is six hours, which you thought would be enough. But if you saw our vlog already on this, then you know not that enough. not enough time to really enjoy everything they have to offer. So it looks like they took a lot of people's advice because a lot of people were complaining about the long lines for the food booths. And they extended the hours also for every day from 12 to 9 p.m. So you get nine hours now of an event. And they were they were nice complaints from what I heard. For the same price. And Yeah, and even even our complaint was, yes, the, the lines were long, but it was still an enjoyable event. But yeah. It, so it wasn't like a complaint where you're mad about it. It was, like, very enjoyable. It just didn't give you enough time to relax, listen to the band, and... And uh, partake in some of the little fun stuff that they had to offer. Like, we didn't go in any shops. There was no time. No. And I want, I love honey, you guys. And they had this honey stand. I wanted to get some honey. They had a stand with crystals. And I didn't get a look at those. So, um, but it was still enjoyable. Yeah. So, I was, I was thinking, bad, so and we, we kind of talked about this too when we we're, were on our vlog. But I was really thinking, like, we're going to have a lot of spare time when we got there. Like I thought there's probably not going to be enough for us to completely do. I just noticed that. I'm going to have to fix that. Otherwise, it's going to drive me nuts. I also kicked the light stand by accident when I was walking. I'm a little disoriented I didn't today. Want to say, I didn't want to say and anything. My sinuses are bothering me, so if you hear me, sorry. Yeah, so... Um, 
I just I thought that you know it being Nutsberry Farm and that they're only gonna have Ghost Town open and the food places there are eight food places open that after you do you would be able to whip through your five tastings very quickly. Well, that was definitely not the case because and for they, us it's ten tastings because yeah. I have a lanyard, he has a lanyard, and you have to buy a lanyard to get in. Yeah, it's just part of the deal. It's twenty five dollars a person. So if I have a lanyard with five, he has a lanyard with five, that equals 10. My lipstick's crazy right here. No, right here. Yeah, it's okay. It's cricket. Dory, Dory, back in. Squirrel, back in. squirrel. Bring me back in. Bring me back in. No, I'm just kidding. Um, so we, I just thought we were going to be able to whip through that pretty quick. and Because we wanted to. They have like special booths set up also with merchandise um, throughout Ghost Town. Like you wanted to check out the honey a little bit more. Yes, You'll I be will. able to do that Friday. Can we speak about Blue Kai um, mentioned there that his season pass works? Now, it, mine did too. The first time I tried to buy uh, tickets for Josh and I, I didn't use the season pass. I used regular price because I didn't realize I had to put the se both season passes in. I couldn't buy two two lanyards with one season pass. Hi, Disney Diva Gem. I was thinking about Didi, you today. DDG in the house. I was, hi, Joe. I was thinking about you, DDG. I was like, I miss her. She's so sweet. You're so cute in that picture too. Yeah. You're so so just FYI, I was thinking about you today. I was going to send you a little, some, little note. Yeah. So, so you, you can only get your season pass discount on your seat, your ticket. You can't get it on somebody else's. So you could have used it on just yours. And then mine, because I had mine with me, or but I could have gave you the number. You had a busy day that day, so yeah. I couldn't really bug you. So when I when we bought tickets for this Friday, uh, we went ahead I and said, I went pay? ahead and I, I I used the season pass. I used your season pass and my season pass, and then for our guests, we just they just had to pay regular price. Yes. So um, yeah. So we're going again, and I'm excited because it's from twelve to nine, so it gives us that time to. Look through the because I kind of miss, and I really like the Knott's Berry Farm store. So I kind of miss some of the stores in Ghost Town, like where they sell the poppy guns and the uh, the different stuff. I kind of well, like that you stuff. At checkers? You, you you can't beat me at checkers. You did not beat me. We did not finish that game. I want, I want taffy, and I want honey. Um, there's a couple. I want the cookies, and what did we get that we really like that we have to get? Oh, the coffee. I want the coffee. Oh, buy another coffee. That's not even offered on the thing, but yes, I know that's what you want to buy. Oh, in the store. Yeah. I want to try, when we go back, though, they have... they have. Oh, um, you finish talking about yeah. the event, though. Okay, that's so, I'm getting, I'm getting she's squirreled, getting and I'm so... taking him down the rabbit squirrel, hole with me. Squirrel! Squirrel! What, what's going on? What, what were we talking about? Huh? Um, no, so... I'm so glad they extend the hours, because A, that means not everyone's going to try to arrive maybe at the same time, It'll spread the crowd out, and hopefully, it, what the, the good news, too, here's the good news. They extended the hours. They did not sell more tickets for those extended hours. So the, before they d announced this, our weekend, this weekend coming up, had already sold out. So, And it's still sold out. Bye, Jeff. Bye, Lisa. Thank you for stopping in and saying hi. Yes, thank you, thank you, thank you. Awesome. Get those provisions. Be safe. Wear a mask. People, wear a mask. What a do, Twinsies? How you doing? Hi, Twinsies. Welcome. Um, so it it's it's going to be interesting to see. And I think the vlog that I'm going to shoot now is going to be more about the changes they made and how does that affect the crowd levels and the lines, you know, and all the fun stuff that we didn't get to do. Because it was kind of sad because they had this DJ playing some rock and country music and they had all these tables set up for people to sit down and eat. And there was nobody there. I mean, there was like, what, three couples there? We were one of them, so we were totally able to social distance, and they probably had like 30 tables there, maybe more, but nobody was there because everybody was waiting in lines, and so, and you felt like once you get out of a line and you get your food, you want to eat it because you got to go get back into another line, and, you know, I was, I made a comment to her that, like, you know, I thought Disneyland's uh, food and wine festival line sometimes got long. These no, lines, we waited way longer we waited like than that. An hour in a line, however, we didn't really have a choice. <laughs> you just had to wait, you know, to get the stuff. And now, what I was gonna say about those tables, what another thing that was pretty cool 
that we noticed is that they had, look at, you know, I haven't been working because my hanger things are on me. But anyways, um, squirrel, look, look I could see it right here. Squirrel. So anyways, um, they had the big <laughs> picnic benches and people weren't sitting at the opposite end of your pic mm -hmm. picnic bench like usual. Somebody will say, oh, can I sit on this end? So it was pretty much one table per person, right? So, well, yeah, they can't because of social distancing. They can't sit at the same bench that you were sitting at. Yeah, so it was very spacious. I thought um, one of the things that I really liked, and we talked about it in the vlog, is that they had line monitors, and that person just kind of walked um, up and down the line. And there was a guy in back of us that put his mask under his nose, and he, she, the the line monitor politely asked him to put it over their nose. Um, you know, it was really weird because you couldn't eat or drink in line. And, you know, you're thinking you're going to kill two birds with one stone, eat while you're in line, and you can't do that because of social distancing, but it makes sense. Um, One thing that really was great to see a theme park do, provide so many seating options for people. Yeah, they put like, seating options throughout the that the park area where the event was taking place. They put a lot of extra tables, a lot of extra chairs. It was real. I thought they did a really good there job. Was, there was no, I mean, everything was great about the event except for the long lines at some of the food booths. Um, and unfortunately, it's to also, you know, I think I mentioned it too, is like one of the food booths was offering four really good selections. And so everybody wanted to go there, you know, and then everybody wants to go to Fireman's Grill. And I'm going to show you guys a map. I have a map of the event with all the items and stuff on it. But I love how they added picnic benches everywhere oh, throughout DG's Ghost Town. On August first. All right, nice. I think you're gonna enjoy it. Yeah, you you really you really are. It's a great event. Um, they had good entertainment if you're able to enjoy it. You know, so I'll do I'll do some shopping vlogs for you there, Jackie. They had some really cute merch. Yeah, we'll we'll do uh, some merch vlogs there. I think we'll have time this time to do it. Um, you know, twelve to nine. So we have quite. I'm not saying we're gonna arrive at twelve, but maybe we arrive at one or something, and we, you know, we'll we'll see. We'll figure it out. But I'll, I'll show you. It, it's um, when you watch the vlogs too. You, if you notice where everybody's at, they're they're in line, but everything else is pretty spacious. And uh, and even the lines they had you standing six feet apart. You weren't standing back to back with people. Yeah. So they had Ghost Town completely open. Um, almost parts of um, the boardwalk, almost right before you get to the new Berry yeah. Tales ride. Uh, they had around the, the water fountain that they have there. If you've been to Knott's Berry Farm, you kind of know what I'm talking about. Uh, they had a lot of uh, tables, round tables with chairs over there also, which was great. And it, because the line got so long, they almost got you into Camp Snoopy. I think you got into almost right right by uh, Sierra Sidewinder there. Yeah. We were kind of stationed in line there. But you can see they have these eight food option places where some of them offer multiple items. And, um, you know, they're really good. Like we went to Sutter's Grill, which is right up there in the top. You know, we had pulled pork sliders, mac and cheese bites, boysenberry wings, samosas. I mean, those were some really good items. And so. if you guys noticed, we were eating through the whole time that we ate the chili and the wings and the pulled pork sliders. It's because we were starving, you guys. Like, usually we try to take a couple bites and then talk. And we were so hungry, though. We're left, like, sucking on the chicken bone in front of you guys. We're like, how embarrassing. <laughs> yeah, it. The, the, well, because we weren't expecting to wait in an hour. I mean, that, that line took one hour maybe an hour and five minutes to get through. I mean, I timed that one. The one before that was at Judge Roy Bean's um, uh, place where we got the chili. That line had to have taken a half hour to 45 minutes. I didn't time it, but it easily was a half hour. It, it should be much better by the time DDG goes because yeah. they... they um, With the extended time. The extended so, time. So I have to say, DDG, go and experience it for nine hours because... There was times where, and we even did this for a little bit, probably about 15 minutes or oh, so. We, we got a few beers each. We double fisted it, you know, and we went over and we sat down because we wanted to listen to some of the country music and just relax for a minute. And um, that was nice. It would have been nicer to do that more, you know, yeah. or, or go see the magician. They had a magician on one stage. 
And then they had entertainment up on the roofs and stuff talking. Yeah, there just so. wasn't enough time in the in the span of time that they gave us, you know. But it was an experiment. They were trying yeah. to figure it out. Yeah. Well, I'm but glad. I'm glad they they adjusted so quickly. I really want that ice cream cookie. Yeah. Yeah. I really, ice cream sandwich cookie. Yes. Cookie sandwich. The chew. Whatever it's called. Eh, it was too thick, but. Jackie asked, uh, "What are we drinking tonight?" Well. I poured myself a bone beef in my cup, but I kind of don't really want it now that I've had it. I'm like, I don't really want it. I kind of just want my coconut water. So well, don't worry. I'll take care of that situation for you. Probably so. I kind of am just into my coconut water. I poured myself that, but I'm not into it. This is yeah, that one. So yeah, I kind of, I, I love coconut water, especially when I'm dehydrated and, um, I seem to really like this one right now. Yeah, um, it. I'm like I said earlier. I'm excited to go do the shopping and stuff, and and I think that it was just a. It was, you know what it was, you guys. It was just nice to get back into the theme park, even though we didn't get to do. Like I want to go through Ghost Town and look at all the little things and stuff. Yeah, we didn't get a chance to do you know, that. You know, busy shooting some B-roll and then getting in line and then eating and talking about it, and which is good, but I kind of want to go... I'm glad that we're going back because we get to really show and, and look at all the different little things and see what, what they're doing, what's going on, and, um, you know, like I said, I don't normally want to go into all the shops, but I want to go into some of the shops, you know, and see some of the stuff, but... It's just nice to go in, and I think the atmosphere was so relaxing. Mm -hmm. I think that's something that we talked about. It was it was a very relaxing atmosphere, and when we sat at the picnic benches where the DJ was at, and where he said they had a lot of tables, that was really nice because there was a breeze that went through that little valley there, mm -hmm. um, in between the buildings, and you could hear the waterfall, the the water fountain. So. It was really relaxing, and, and, and it seemed like people were in a good mood and enjoying being out, but everybody was being respectful and following the rules, and I didn't see anybody angry or out of control or anything. Um, so it was. I think it was just nice to be out again, um, and I hate to say it, I enjoyed that much more than Downtown Disney. I think because Downtown Disney didn't have as much open well like it, it, well, this would be like if they did a if they did a food thing down main street you know or something like that well, well talking about that that was kind of be good what i was going to talk about also was that well downtown disney was more about you're going to go shopping and you're going to maybe eat at a restaurant or something more like a mall experience yes where this was more like an event this was more like we're going to experience it was like a, it was like a theme park event you know but just that with no rides, which is like old school ghost town. Like when ghost town originally opened up, there was no rides. That was just there to entertain the chicken dinner yeah. guests while they waited to get their chicken dinner. So it was almost like going back in time to kind of what it was like to experience ghost town without having to worry about go wait in lines for roller coasters. Yeah, and, stuff. And, I guess, and I guess so because downtown Disney did have the music and stuff going, but it was just a restaurant. And then the shops, you had to wait in line to get in the shops. But like Ghost Town act or the Taste of Calico actually had bands. They had people on the roofs, you know, joking with the visitors and stuff like that. Hi, Nicholas. Yeah, it, it, so but so talking about Disney is so my question is, did Knott's Berry Farm just like totally outplay Disney? Like, did they just totally one up them? I don't think it's a competition. I think Downtown Disney <laughs> opened what they did. And then, you know, Knott's Berry Farm just had the chicken It's place always open. a competition, babe. It's always a competition. Well, I don't want to cite one over the other. I like both places, so that's not nice. No, I like both places, but, like, do you think... Here's what I'm going to say. Do you think Disney will try to pull something off like this in California now? Do you think they might try to do, like, a limited food and wine in dca but just in certain parts of it or are they too um too big and able to say you know what we don't need to do something like this we no, can wait till we I open i don't think it's that they're too big and they don't need to they have a lot of other things 
um, come into play, like with unions and different things like that, that may be... Well, the unions have signed off saying that they their safety protocol they're happy with Disney safety okay, protocols. Well, they, they might. I mean, why wouldn't they? It's it was a it was successful for knots, and Disney's gonna if Disney does one like that, they'll be able to be successful as well. So, oh, I think it would be super. I successful. think I, what I what I am liking is the creativity that different companies are having to continue to generate business and to be safe, like in our city. In the downtown Orange area where the, we call it the circle, people call it the plaza. Is it technically called the plaza, I yeah. think. Um, circle and Orange, though. They closed off the street, like, to, was it East and West? Glacelle. Yeah. They closed off one of the street on the East and West end and left the North and South end open because there's a roundabout. And they closed them off and then they put tables in the middle of the streets, just like at Knott's. So you, the restaurants can stay open so people can continue to eat. Now, one of the shop, the the merchants there, the, the shops told me that it causes a little bit of trouble because they can't bring their trucks through to load and unload if it's big stuff. Unless it's through the back or they yeah, have to... Yeah, but the back door is not big enough in case they have something big. Yeah. But they said they'll just try to figure that out when it happens, but... Yeah, well, they just have to... I mean, but they're allowed to now have business where those restaurants or... Well, it, was, it probably wasn't a restaurant. It was probably an antique store or something. No, it was the Manitoka, the... the uh, what type of? Native American store. Oh. Yeah, but, you know, by having those restaurants open and having traffic flow in there with people, that'll help their business out because then the people will visit no, it. No, it was, it, was, it was totally cool. And some of the restaurants put, like, these little topiary things to mm -hmm. set them apart from the other restaurants. So it was nice to see people walking around and, and people... Oh, there was a table that for, was for arts and crafts. For the kids, so they the parents dropped them off there and paid the people, and they did their crowd for the parents for eating because it was in a little table. Yeah, but like, wouldn't that be cool? Like, if if Disney actually did something like that, they could do a food and wine. Now, how not see? And then again, it's like so. Knott's Berry Farm pulled out all the stops. They had their DJ going. They had magicians and other live acts. They had entertainers. Totally social distancing. Now I'm trying to think like. What if they did their food and wine? Could they still have some shows and stuff maybe out there as entertainment? Would it be worth it for them? Well, yeah. If not, I mean, they're obviously going to charge more. They're not going to do a $25 lanyard. They'd probably do like a $50, like how food and wine is a $50 lanyard and you get eight picks, which brought it to about $6.30 an item or something like that, mm -hmm. where Knott's Berry Farm was $5 an item. But I have to tell you, I'm not trying to like say one is better than the other. But I am trying to say, though, but like Knott's Berry Farm, when they do these food events, their portions are big. Are big. Are much bigger than the Disneyland. The so, Disneyland portions are more like a little sample sizes. Mm -hmm. And Knott's Berry Farms are not, I don't want to say they're a meal yet, but they're pretty close. We, we, we have, hi, Margarita's back. So we have gone to the food and wine at DCA. We go every year. We didn't go this year for the food event because we just missed it. Mm -hmm. But we do go to them. Um, when Josh and I get the tabs um, for Knott's Berry Farm, we actually share the the food because it's so big. If we each ate our own, we would be full and not be able to get through the whole festival. Like I said, it ends up being this festival. It ended up being 10 tabs uh, total so we we have our food so that way we can try everything well yeah and like when they give you the um smoked um sausage that we got the first item that we got with the a boysenberry sausage or something like that from fireman's grill i could probably look at the uh menu really quick here and see if i'm boysenberry sausage on a hoagie bun that is a full sausage that's not like some half sausage or anything that's a full sausage now and and that's a big button yes you know so if i were to eat that all by myself i mean that's almost that's like i'm done that's a meal so we cut that in half so next time i go i want to get the corn yeah i want to get the ice cream sandwich yeah uh, we're gonna definitely definitely the well the corn is i mean it, they, they just do good with the corn. samosas were delicious and i didn't I think i didn't think i was going to be a big fan of the vegetarian samosas um, I can't, I don't remember if they were vegan or if they were vegetarian, but, uh, whatever they were, they were super delicious. And that's where I think Knott's did a really good job with the samosas because the flavors were not something that you were expecting as far as everything else. Like 
you get mac and cheese bites with french fries, you're getting mac and cheese. You know that. You get a pastrami sandwich, you know you're getting pastrami flavor. You know, you get some sort of boysenberry sausage, you know that. But the samosa had this flavoring, this seasoning, Hi, these spices that were so delicious mm-hmm. that they caught it, us. They they actually caught us. Caught us uh, off guard. There you go. Caught Three, us. Third caught time. Us. Third time is a charm <laughs> they caught us. for sure. No, they caught us. us they caught, caught us, us off, off guard. guard. I used to caught us this. off guard. Caught us off. Caught us. <laughs> Cut us off guard. Yeah, that's kind of hard. Oh, my God. We did feel safe at Knott's. We felt very, very safe at Knott's, is what we were saying. The crowds were not large. You know, there it, were some places that bottlenecked, but it still wasn't bad. Re- really? Because everybody's wearing their, only like by the saloon in that little place. Yeah, and it was still able to, you were still able to social distance. Like, yeah, it was, they sold, I believe they sold the right amount of tickets for the space that they had. The, only, the problem was that they weren't able to get the food pumped out fast enough like my mom for says, everybody. They had sangre de peanut butter, my mom says, meaning you have peanut butter blood, meaning it just runs slow. Yeah. They haven't mastered the art of these festivals, of pumping it out quickly to get it to the consumer. Because there's a line, so you don't have to wait for the order to come through to make the item. You can make make it, make it, make it, because people are just going to be coming through. They're going to scan the cashier, give them a receipt, boom, go, boom, go, boom, yeah, go. Yeah, we found that, like, the chili place, for instance, which we talked about on the vlog. Uh, you walk up to the register, you order, then he tells the person serving, get him a chili, but there's only chili and a poisonberry drink, so, and the line was 45 minutes or something. Yeah, it was so it was almost forty five minutes. They could have served four or five chili plates, and all they would have had to do is stick the the onions and the cornbread on there, and it wouldn't have got cold, soggy, or anything because and, there was so many people in line. And you already had a tab, so it wasn't like you had to pay and give cash and get change. Yeah, it would it would have been a fast transaction. But you know what? I'm I'm sure they they saw reviews and and realized what they have to fix, and I'm sure. They're going to work on it. Well, I'm sure they are because, well, and here's what I think might have happened too. I think a lot of people did not get through their tabs. Oh, yeah. And so I, then at the end of the night, I bet you people complained that, hey, I didn't even get to use all my tabs. Juanito, did you get through, did you guys get through all your tabs? Because some people probably didn't, like we went before it opened and we waited in line and they opened the gate and we were kind of like the you know, the first... I saw people coming in at like eight o'clock. And yeah, I only gave them two hours, and but the lines were way too long. To I mean, man, if we wouldn't if we didn't go to that fireman's grill early, that line was long. They, um, Jessica, they only let a certain amount of people in, and that's what we were talking about. That it wasn't very crowded. It was very safe, very spacious. They put out a lot of extra tables. Um, people were not sharing tables. If it was a big picnic table and you sat there to eat, you were the only one on that table. They did have people coming through and cleaning the tables. Uh, while you were waiting in line for your food, you were not allowed to eat or drink. So that way you were properly socially social distancing and, you know, ha- wearing your mask. If people put their mask under the nose, they were told to wear it correctly. There were line monitors walking. So- walking the line to make sure that you were social distanced six feet apart and that you had your mask on so it was a very controlled environment it was not controlled where it was oppressive it was controlled meaning they were following the proper they made sure everyone followed the rules and there the most people, people were 99 yeah. percent of the people were following the rules hi jen hey jen yeah we miss you too we saw pictures um old pictures um, so they were making sure that the social distancing protocols were in place yeah, and that the masks were worn and it was very airy. There was a lot of room. They, it, they real like Josh was saying, they, they did a good job at allowing the right amount of people in. Yeah. So I, I think that, um, you know, what happened was when I, we talk about these long lines, it makes it sound like it was really crowded. No, it was not because everybody was in line. And when you were in line, most of the people were six feet apart. Oh, so Jessica, this chicken dinner is different. The chicken dinner you can get any time um, through the restaurant, and you can sit outside at the benches. Right now, they have something called a Taste of Calico going on, and it's twenty-five dollars 
a ticket per person to get in. It gives you five uh, food tastings or drinks. Yep. And um, it's going on. They just extended it for the next two weeks, going out Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Yes, because no more is sitting inside restaurants in California. So they did add an extra closed off section for the chicken dinner restaurant where you can drink alcohol uh -huh. and they have a server come to your table. Not like the other tables that they had outside of the chicken dinner restaurant where you can sit out there. They had a whole separate section for just chicken dinner, uh, dinner restaurant patrons uh -huh. to uh, you know, partake in the food there. So, but it was, I was saying it was, what a genius idea that Knott's came up with this. Like they said, you know what? So they're sold out this weekend. Oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead. Yeah, go ahead. Go no, ahead. I'm sorry. I cut you off. No, go ahead. So they sold out this weekend, but the next two weekends after, they have extended those days. And they've extended the times we were talking about when we went. There was a smaller window. I think it was from 4 to 10. And now they have it from 12 to 9. So yeah. it, the, you have more time to use your tabs. I'm sorry. Go ahead. I don't even remember what I, I was talking about. This. Lies. Uh, no, I really don't. I'm like, lies are what are lies. About? What are they talking about? Um, I, I Does really anybody don't. have any questions regarding the taste of calico? So, I know what I was talking about. But what a great idea that, that, that and, you know, they just had to close off a few choke points. Not choke points, uh, points where you get into the rest of the park. But it was very easy for Knott's to do that. And I think, like, Disneyland, like, or for DCA... They could easily yeah, they do that, that too. Street. You close off Grizzly River. Actually, you don't even have to close off Grizzly River Rap River Peak or whatever it is because you have that as a walkthrough. But if you needed to, you can close that off. You close off Hollywood Land, and then you just walk through all the way until you get towards Cars Land. You close that off, and then you close off uh, Pixar Pier. Boom. And at the very end, you just put something at the end. And now, I mean, that's just a very – that's probably less points to close off than Knott's Berry Farm had to. Mm -hmm. And – then you just keep the only problem. With, here's here's what I would say. The only problem with Disneyland doing it like that, where they normally have the booths, is it be it gets very crowded, and that's just a narrow walkway. Where Ghost Town, there's actually a couple of corridors that you can go down and places you can go. It's a little bit wider than DCA's main walkway is, as far as because there's two different walkways. There's a walkway on the left side, like here. I can show the map. Um, watch. I'm going to show you guys the map. So, like, right here, like, you can walk down this street here, or you can come walk down this street over here, and then you come back over here, and then there's another street right here on top. So, there's different areas that you could walk through, where when you go to Disneyland, it's, um, or DCA, it's just that one walkway, so it might be harder. I think they would have to open up, like, Hollywood Land or something, not the rides, but just the area to help make the crowd go more sparsely but you also the one thing with Knott's Berry Farm is too is that uh you can do it's like a it's like you know you're not going you can go one way up a street and then go down and then come back down another street at Disney DCA you kind of have to do both ways down that one street I zoned out I scrolled on the mic in back of you you were just staring at that right there I zoned she's out. like Oh, look at the like, microphone like on the side. And then I started getting all kinds of ideas in my head. Sorry. You're so funny. Hi, Ronnie. Hey, Ronnie. What is up? Um, so, yeah, it's... um. So, I, I think Disneyland would have some challenges doing something like this. But I think they're really good at what they do so they could figure it I'm out. Not, it's, I don't think it's a challenge. Or even if they did a, a smaller event. Because like their, their food and wine has like 14 booths or something like that. What if they did something that only had eight or ten booths mm -hmm. and then spread it out a little bit um, so that way people can be socially distancing? Definitely add more seating because that's one thing that I always complain about food and wine. Mm -hmm. Every year we go to food and wine, I complain there is not enough seating. I know they're giving you sample size, but you know, if you want me to order a beer and order a food item, I need to set my beer down to eat my food item. And if you're not going to give me a place to do that, and then for me, it's even worse. I need to set everything down because I'm filming it also, you know? Mm -hmm. So it's like, I need a, we need a place. And so, you know, th that would be super cool though. Can you imagine a way to get back into a Disneyland park without actually having to well, Joe Ross, see everything? Joe Ross is saying they should do it. Disneyland on each land. 
um, could be a different food theme. There would be no problem with social distancing. I agree. So, but the the only issue I see with that, Joe, would be how much more staff it would take to spread it out too far. Yeah, it'd have to be a little, little you know, more confined. Like, Ghost Town is one area that, let me tell you, they had a lot of staff. Knott's Berry Farm did not spare an expense on their staffing yeah. for this event. They made sure there was people everywhere, you know, to be able to assist you with directions, to be able to monitor and make sure social distancing and safety protocols were in place. And just to be able to just kind of observe and see what was going on. Mm -hmm. So, you know, you saw a lot, you saw a lot of Knott's Berry Farm management were, out there. And the, one of the cool things that I, that I noticed and that I liked is that the staff was really, cause they don't call them cast members, but the, the employees or staff, they're really happy to be there and to have you back. I think we got more. Welcome back. Thank you for coming. Oh, hi. Welcome yeah, back. Yeah, yeah. We got a lot Very of friendly. that. So they kind of like what we got in, in downtown Disney. Yeah, from Disneyland. just like downtown. And Knott's is usually not known for their energetic customer service. <laughs> yeah, you know? they had really energetic customer service. Just like when you went to downtown Disney and all the staff is like, hi, welcome back. Thank you. Come again. It was that kind of vibe. So I want to talk about something that Juan said. What we talked about earlier was he wants to try the bo oh the boysenberry icy. I thought you said ice cream sandwich. Sorry, icy. That did sound really well, good. Well, we could try that next because we had the we had the basil lemonade. Well, I, I got confused because then DGG said, Juan, that does sound bomb. Do they put ice cream or soft serve with it? No. So, so that's an icy like a Slurpee type of deal. Almost like a slushy. Yeah, but the ice cream. She's so cute. Look at yes, she's so, cute. she's so beautiful. Mm -hmm. um hey so, mike hey mike is here hey you got nothing but time on your hands on vacation yeah um so i but what the ice cream sandwich is the one complaint that i saw was you know when you normally get like an ice cream sandwich with two cookies the inside part is more of a harder ice cream because when you bite in through the cookies, it has to still keep its shape and its, it's form. It out. I'm going to lick the... So, I'm going to go like this and lick it in a circle. So when I bite, it doesn't squish up. For so, yeah. So, like, for um, that, though, what I saw was people were trying to bite the cookie with the boys and bar ice cream. It just squished. I so the ice cream was too soft. Take the top part of the cookie off and then eat it. Um, 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 um. You're going to have to... We're going to have to figure something out. But I think you need that harder ice cream when you have an ice cream sandwich like that. So, hopefully... Oh, look it. She blushed. <laughs> she blushed. You don't got to blush. Okay. Um, Michael says he's so hungry. Yeah. Well, you're going to be. Um, so I, I'm just kind of like, so I Hi, think. human person. Hey, human person. I haven't seen you in a little while. I hear it coming into the stream is cookie talk. Now I'm hooked. Humando loves yeah. some cookies. So imagine, and I think. Hi, Two Real Geeks. I want to say, hey, Two Real Geeks. I want to say there were two chocolate chip cookies with a boysenberry ice cream in the middle with chocolate chips sprinkled on the, yes. the edge of it. Yes. And. It looked good. Everybody uh, said it was good. It looks so good. And now I have to, I, I couldn't figure out where, where I get that. So I'm like, um. I need to figure... Oh, it's at the mix-up. It's where you got the boysenberry icy float. That line was long, you guys. Why? didn't get that. That was long, huh? I didn't get that. No, you didn't get that. You just said... No, I said that's where you get the boysenberry oh. icy float, and that line was long. Um, so that line Hi, wrapped Rachel all the way... Hi, Disney. Hi, Pirate. Hey! hey. Um, that line wrapped all the way in front of the DJ. Um, in I, front got, of that area. I got lucky. I went while we were waiting in that hour line... Um, I went and got two boysenberry ciders, which are delicious, by the way. So I went to go go get two boysenberry ciders, and right across was the chudo line. It's a chudo with a uh, boysenberry on the inside, like a stuffed chudo. Mind you, Disneyland chudos are way better. This one was very bready, very thick. Um, there yeah, was no line. Some That's people really why. liked it, but we're just used to disneyland churros no i'm used to a churro being a churro not a not well, a churros are very light and airy yeah on this side. they're like crispy red. and light and airy this was crispy but then thick Ooh, and then um with the berry. creamy boysenberry jam on the inside Wando says what does a boysenberry taste like 
It's like not well, a you need to come blueberry, to not a farm. raspberry. It's really good. It's a boysenberry. It's super delicious. Um, and what was I gonna say? Oh, so there was nobody in line. You know, for if that? you get at the Starbucks at Nosberry Farm, they have boysenberry coffee drinks. They have boysenberry frappuccinos, lattes, lattes, lattes ice boysenberry coffee. Oh my God! It's and so if good. You go to, if you go so good. to the donuts, that's what it's Donut. called. Donut. If you go to the donuts, which is oh no, yeah, it's open. It might be open. I'm not sure. If you go there, they have a boysenberry boba. Yeah, donut. It's open. A boba, so it's really good. They use the closed down surf shop for for taking our temperatures and stuff. Oh, okay. Um, you were thinking it was the donuts, huh? Yeah, I was trying to. You're like, you're like there. looking at the map of Knott's Berry Farm. Ah, oh, where so is this? So lots of good things. Uh, bottom line, lots of good things coming out of Knott's Berry Farm right now. Uh, yeah. Everything's super delicious. They, I, I, they, I haven't really been disappointed with their food as much as, um, they they cook it very well. The only thing that we got that was unedible is They're we got f- yeah. the um. The gumbo, which maybe we'll try again. The rice just wasn't cooked. Um, so we couldn't really yeah, it was judge a, it. It was almost like they forgot to cook the rice. Or did they did they put it in there thinking that that would cook the rice? They probably, no, they probably were in a hurry because it was getting late. And they started serving it, but it wasn't, the rice wasn't cooked. It was still like hard rice. So that wasn't good. But um, other than that, they... Knott's is doing some really good stuff. They're being creative. I mean, I'm liking it. Hey, Zippity Mike. Zippy Mike, not Zippity. I was going to do Zippity Doo Da. Zippity A. So, um, so, just so you kind of get an idea, Knott's Berry Farm is not a very large park um, compared to Disneyland, anyway. And so I was just bringing it up on Google Maps and just showing, like, you come in right over here. And then when you, you come through, all. You could actually go through this way here and walk through here. This whole section over here, this whole corner of the park is open. So there's there's a walkway here, a walkway here, here, a walkway here. And it takes you all the way over to here and then it dead ends. And then you can also come over here and they have this huge setup area right here where they have tons of tables, socially distanced. And you can you can sit around that tables around the fountain over here. Um, but there was booths. I mean, there was a lot of space. And then the shops were open, so you could shop. Um, they have a lot of good treats. They have a lot of good merch. And the merch, by the way, is very affordable there. Oh, yeah. Their very merch affordable. Is very affordable. Can I answer Mike? Yeah. Um, he's saying Katie and Spence, when they went, the Cheeto wasn't stuffed. I don't, they are, some places are selling other things. Uh, I don't know if that was an accident or they're allowing you to get the Cheeto not stuffed. I don't know, Mike. Yeah, so just kind of idea what. Knott's Berry Farm looks like, you oh, know. Can I tell him a funny story? Yeah. That we guy's were, wearing a weird thing on his head. We were walking in to to get in line. And when we were walking, coming in our direction was Cameo Caleb. Was our oh, friend yeah. Caleb. And so we go to walk in line with him. So Yeah, we see Caleb everywhere, don't we? Like, we just run into Caleb all over the place. Okay, are we still on that? So yeah, no, it's just that alcoholic one's... beverages. Um, they oh. have a boysenberry beer, a boysenberry. Oh, the, but the boysenberry beer is an IPA. Just so you're kind of, it, it tastes like an IPA. I'm assuming I didn't ask, but it tastes like an IPA. So they have a boysenberry beer. Mm-hmm. They have a boysenberry cider, which is what I get, and I really like it. They have a boysenberry. The cider is bomb that is so yes, good it's very refreshing they have a boysenberry sangria oh that's danger danger and, danger will rod robinson and they also have a boysenberry wine and then uh-huh. they the two drinks that their three drinks that they were offering on the offering on the lanyard were a boy uh sorry a basil lemonade, a cucumber lemonade, and also the boysenberry ice. Wait, 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 hold on. We're missing all sorts of stuff. Just what, look what happened. Michael, no super. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Here we go. Okay, no, what happened to the Chinese New Year? Wait, you guys up? And then DDG, apologies. We timed you out on accident. Juan, did you time out? DDG? Oh, Michael did. He dropped his phone, he said. Michael. Then everyone's like, Michael. Michael, DDG, I dropped my phone. So sorry, they timed you out. Sorry, 
Michael, we're going to time you out. You're a bad mod. I accept a timeout. Wait, timeout? Timeout with Michael and Tony. Hey. Wait, you want to be timed out. Oh, my God. DDG, I feel like I, I, I'm missing you right now. I feel like I, I haven't heard from you in ages. Who could possibly put you on timeout, DDG? Where are you? DDG, come back to me. Who used to time everybody out? Ebe. Ebe. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Chronicles. Ebe. You're the new Yaya Chronicles timing people out. I can't even I can't even continue with this live stream until DDG makes it for? back. Three hundred seconds. That's many many minutes. Wow. Do the math. One hundred twenty two sixty. Oh my God! Wait, that's like is that like five minutes? Poor DDG when she somebody got do the math. Out. How long is this? I can't handle this anymore. Should we switch? <sighs> Should we switch from there to something else? No, I can't. Not until DDG comes back. Well, she didn't leave. She's well, still there. She's gone. She's gone. Okay, She's in honor gone. of DDG, we're gonna take three thousand seconds time of silence. That's a, that, that's too long. To honor her. Okay, we're gonna take three seconds in silence. One one thousand. Two. Nobody 1, 000, chat. Nobody three, chat. 1, wait, we're waiting. Okay, there we go. Okay, <laughs> man. You're not the first one to do it, Mike. It's happened before. Okay, Joe, you're just gonna have to speak on behalf of DDG. Okay, and I didn't know if you guys noticed this. Noticed this before we switch topics. Uh, we have Patreon shoutouts going on down at the bottom there. We got Brian, DDG, Marianne, Michael, Rosa, Sherrod, and a very new Patreon member to us, Carla Twinsies Mama. Twinsies whoop, Mama. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Welcome to the Patreon Club. And so just so Thank you, you so know, much. I am going to be coming up with some tiers. Um, we do give buttons, but I don't think we have... Like, we give more than buttons. No, we they give, get special prizes, and sp or special surprises, not prizes, yeah, special surprises. Periodically, we send while. surprises um, in the mail, but I think initially it's like buttons or something like that. But yeah. I have a cricket machine and other stuff, so I... We got am, something special that uh, we're working on for our Patreon members, actually. Yes. So that'll be heading out this month of August, or yeah, probably August, the beginning of August. That'll be heading out to you guys too. Yes. Yes. Thanks for the support. We appreciate it definitely. So, um, go ahead. What else did you want to talk about? Well, let's do this one first. Okay. So only because you guys know that um, I like. I love margaritas bag stuff. So I don't have a lot of stuff to show you today. Um, but look at, for those of you that like the beignets, look at this. I'm just here for the beignets. Wait, there you go. And they glow in the dark. So where you see the outline and, and this white here, like it glows in the dark. It's Well, it's not. It's, it's not. dark for you. Dark. So... This is, a, I'm just here from the beignets. Um, that's new. I think she has a sticker out with that. And then she brought back her chenille patch. I love this one. I have the, I have the stickers for this as well. I like this that one. This is my favorite. Show them that. Look at this, you guys. You have my whole heart for my whole life. That's now, these so are her cute. stickers. And she just brought in a patch that I think is coming this friday look at this this is awesome don't cover the words it says i survived 2020 quarantine guess where i'm going next that's a fun one that is good you got me spinning round round baby I know round, round. right round baby right, right round, round like, like a, a record, record player, player baby right. right i don't know the words My, I don't and then, know the words. You know, she had the 2019 Galaxy's Edge patch, which I have. But look at this. Bam! 2020. And Ooh. look at this. They're different. See? Oh, What's different? Oh, they have bought. Oh, they have different. Oh, they're the design is totally different. Yeah. And so she I, I'm pretty sure she has other stuff coming out. Um, I haven't seen it yet. When I get to see it and give permission, I'll show you guys. Wait, why is DDG not back in the house? It's five minutes. It's been five minutes, hasn't it? This no. is the longest five minutes of my life. No. But you guys, you guys, seriously, 
for killer stuff, check out Margarita's bag over there. This is her Instagram post. You could go and to margaritasbag.com. When is your shop opening up? Not till Friday. Friday. What's... Oh, she has stuff in there. Nice. Does it open up on Friday or what time Friday? I think Friday at 11. That's Daisy's Dazzle Dream. Show them. This is Daisy's Dazzle Dream. If you guys, she doesn't call them dream catchers. She calls them dream chasers. So that way you chase your dreams. She has amazing, like, Minnie Mouse, like, like she does the Mickey ear dream catchers where it's the dream catcher with the ears. Uh-huh. And she themes them. She does custom ones. So, like, let's say you wanted a Snow White. She could do that. Um, and she hangs the little stuff with the feathers. They're so, so pretty. Um, and... I don't have her up here, but that's no. Stacy Stazzle Dreams. I'll, yeah. I'll do that next But week. when Margarita's bag opens up on Friday, how can you save Sorry, money? Sorry, I got squirreled How again. can you save money? Uh, use coupon code Becky, and that'll give you 15% off. Yeah, coupon code Becky gets you 15% off. All your purchases over at Margarita's bag. What a great... She has such cute... I don't She's even so nice have enough too. water bottles or jackets to put everything on. Can I get can I get squirrel on you real quick? Okay. Real quick, look what the mask does to my goatee. Look at this. There's an indention right here. That's because when I wear the mask, it comes over like this, and then the hairs stick out the bottom, and so I can't get my goatee to go straight again. I'll do it with the straightener. I was trying to like, well. Oh, well, um, I should have got you with the straightener before we. Yeah, because tomorrow things. I'm gonna wear a mask all day again, so it's like. Next Tuesday uh, I'll straighten his his goatee. It needs to be something. And yeah, so you guys know how much I love uh, margaritas bags, stickers, and patches. You see this, Michael? Look at, look at my my cheeks. Look at my cheeks. You can see the sides of my face. There's no more beard. No more beard. It's gone. They're super, super. If any of you have ordered any of the patches mm, before, they are just the quality of them is amazing. They're not thin and flimsy. They're nice, thick, sturdy patches. What did she say? I showed a little preview of the Wally Patch today on her story. Oh, Ooh. go follow her on Instagram. The Wally Patch? Huh? The Wally Patch. Ooh. Go follow her on Instagram and you guys will be able to see all her little sneak previews. They get me so excited and I can't say. Yeah, and then just so you guys remember, just remember this one thing. Becky does make masks. I Over guess. at Beloved One Creations, BH on Instagram, you can follow her, but she has some super cute designs, going for a little men action up here with some fishing lures and fish, and then I like the Mulan. I like this, I like this Mulan? One. I like this Mulan. I like this Mulan, and you like this Mulan. So I'm really excited. And, and I like this mama bear. Oh, my mama bear was uh, trying them all on. Yeah. So I do, I am excited on Friday. You see our Southwestern, you see that? Our Southwestern oh, we theme. Wore, that's what we wore to um, Taste of Calico so we yeah. could blend in with the event. You know what I want to wear the next time is I want to wear, where is it at? No, I got a new one. I got a gray one that has wolves on it. Really? Yeah. Because I really love my um, Sarape. Sarape one. I really like my Sarape one. So I'm kind of excited. Um, oh, Just so you guys know, when I sell out of a fabric, I pull that mask off of the site. I don't leave it there. So everything you see on it, my Instagram means that I have it in stock. Once I run out of the fabric, I'll pull it off. Um, so I was out and about today and I saw someone wearing your mask, this mask. In public. Was it my mask? It was your mask. It was your mask. I saw it. Oh, I know where you saw it. Okay. Yeah, yeah. but I did. I did. Isn't that an awesome mask? So, um, I pulled them off once. You know what? I saw someone wearing this mask too. Yes, I believe you did. I did. So, once I sell out of the fabric, I pull it off um, of the page so that way... You know, you can't, it won't be ordered. But um, now the the Muppets one, this one has Fozzie, what's his name, Fozzie Bear? Something like that. But you can get it with um, Miss Piggy or with Gonzo or the little crazy guy with the red hair. Fozzie Bear, there you go. So I pull the fabrics off once I sell out of them. But I am excited because coming this Friday, Ooh. I got some really cool Disney prints. 
Yeah. So I got was... I got about one, two, three, four, five, six, six or seven new Disney fabrics. And then I think I had two, probably we'll say seven to be safe, but I do have new Disney fabrics coming out. But not all my masks. Yeah, mask are... there's some good fabrics coming, you guys. Just want to let you know. Not all I've my seen masks. Them. Not all my masks are Disney. In case you don't want to always be in Disney, I do have other stuff on there. Um, I'm trying to find time so I can make some non-mask stuff. Uh huh. Yeah. <laughs> but I've been so busy making masks that I really haven't had a chance to do some other crafts. I want to make some sanitizer holders and a couple of other things. Um. I'm hoping, I mean, it's it's not a bad thing that I don't have time to do it, but um, it would be nice to put some other stuff up there as well. Yeah, I agree. A hundred percent. Thank you for plugging me. Look at you. Look at that. Me plugging away, plugging away. I'm the typical old plugger. I guess so. Um, yeah, so that's, you know, really after we get through that and then just, you know, I just, again, I can't thank our Patreon members enough. You guys, you guys are super awesome for, for helping to support the channel. Yeah, we have something coming um, to you guys pretty soon. He's just waiting on me. So sorry. I'm just waiting on you. Like you're busy. Ooh, Dee Dee. Dee Dee. Look it. Look it. She's back. Dee Dee G has made Dee Dee it back. back. Oh, I'm so excited. <laughs> It was D G. You bring a smile to my face, D D G. I just Gonzo's thank you. There. Gonzo in the house. Hello. Good evening. Gonzo, good evening. How are you, friend? Yes. So, did somebody? Uh, did Carrie take away Michael's phone? I put that up. Oh. Uh, did Carrie take away Michael's phone so he cannot time out D D G anymore? Michael, you're grounded. Either <laughs> that, or you had too many Bud Lights. Did I'm he, not sure which one he, it is. He's on vacation now. He's yeah. Uh, DDG said it was so long. DDG, it was so long for me. I was like, oh, I can't, I couldn't like focus. I was struggling with it because I was like, where is she at? Why did she leave? Michael. Okay. Okay. I'm better now. I'm better. Please, because that Sorry. voice is rushing. I'm kind of drama. I'm kind of so, drama. Um, so, yeah. So, that's what we got going on. Uh. Hoping to go to downtown Disney soon. Um, well, no. I, well, yeah, I, still I think. I still have We have downtown Disney coming up. We have Taste of Calico again coming up. And then I don't know what. Then we'll have our live stream next Tuesday. I don't know. I might want to do another Taste of Calico. A third? What else do we have to do? A third? A third? Well, I'm, I'm available the August ninth mm. Let's start. i'm not available august 1st and 2nd that's the next weekend okay um unfortunately no don't ground him he's fine okay. it's happened before so in case well, you guys are just joining us um one of the mods he probably would prefer a spanking one of the mods <laughs> accidentally uh timed out ddg and so we're just making fun of that yeah. So what else we got going on? Let's see. We talked about Taste of Calico. I do recommend it, you guys. Even with the long lines, it was just I well, mean, for I, 25 and I, bucks. And I can't wait to see if they solve that problem. I think they solved it. By extending it, I think you've solved the problem. And a good thing we're going on Friday, so we'll be able to count. Because what I also think will happen, too, is people who go early might leave earlier. They might not stay the whole nine hours. Well, it's going to be hot. I'm going to take a umbrella. We're going to have to say, I haven't checked. I have not checked the weather. Did you check the weather for Friday? We got some some cloud layer coming in, mm -hmm. Becky. I, I say, right? what else do we have to do every day? Where else are we gonna go? Nowhere. <laughs> nowhere. Maybe I was gonna take you on a mini vacation. Lies. Okay, yeah, I was lying. I was <laughs> lying through my teeth. I wasn't gonna take you on a mini vacation. Uh oh, we're starting <laughs> to fight. I was Carrie not gonna do that. Carrie can't. Michael, you know, you know, you're, you know, she can. You know, she can. That's it. So is anybody else going to downtown Disney anytime soon? What are your guys' plan for the weekend? What are you guys doing um, when you want to get out of the house a little bit? I, I, I just told Josh today I had to go. What did I have to go buy? Oh, I had to go buy something at Target. And uh, <laughs> then I stopped to get gas because I was literally on empty because I never want to stop and get gas. And I came home and told Josh... I hate going out of the house. The first thing she says she walked in was like, I hate going out of the house. I'm like, I got to go out of the house every day. 
I said, I hate going out of oh. my house. I just want to stay in the house. I don't want to go anywhere. Yeah. Um, I want to go to downtown Disney again. It's just so hot. Like, they don't have enough shade there. And there's no breeze. Like, Knott's Berry Farm, the way the wind was blowing. Yeah, you know, the way it's set up there, the wind really does blow through the alleyways of Knott's Berry Farm nicely. Disneyland was just beating down sun and there was and no wind. There was no breeze. It was just hot. And every table had a canopy over it. Unfortunately, the sun had already started to set, so the shade from the canopy was off the table. But what I was thinking, like, at 12, 1, 2, 3 o'clock, the canopy would be effective. You know, we didn't get into it until after 4 because that's when it opened. So this, and by the time we actually got our food and then go sit down over in that area, it was already five. So, you know, the sun had already started to set. So the canopies didn't work, weren't working as good. But then also once the sun gets behind the buildings then it's nice too. So I think the canopies will be more effective now that they're open earlier for sure. I say for sure a lot, huh? I'm like, for sure. You say for sure. that and you say, uh, what is it? Let me just tell you. Let me let tell me you. Just, let me tell you. I don't say let just. Me just tell you. I don't say. I don't say just. Let me tell you. Yeah, uh, I wish I can go to downtown Disney. I live five hundred miles. That's so far. That's so far. I would never drive five hundred miles to go to downtown Disney. Not right now. I would go to Disneyland five hundred miles. I would drive five hundred miles to go to Knott's Taste of Calico for what nine is? hours. I would yeah. do that for nine hours. I would totally do that. And the thing, this is how great it is too. The parking is free at Knott's Berry Farm right now. Free parking. So it's $25. If you don't want to spend another penny, you could do the event for $25. Now, if you want to... No, keep going. Oh, I thought you hit me. No. You did hit me, though. You poked me. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I love you. Um, So, but I do have to say the adult beverages at Knott's Berry Farm are a little... More expensive than Disneyland adult beverages when it comes to, uh, which one? I don't know what, which one? Nothing. Okay. So I'm so distracted right now. Becky is so distracting me right now. Um, so I'm not sure, uh, you know, so it does get a little pricey if you're just going to go drink some adult beverages or anything like that. But other than that, I mean, it's a great event, mm -hmm. I think, over there. Okay, so let's see. Let's go to comments. Areas of low clouds and Sunday with high of 83, it says, uh, for Anaheim weather. Nice. Well, Friday, we are going to be um, hopefully in that area. So we'll see. We'll mm -hmm. see. And then, Michael, what are you saying Saturday? What's um, Juan said, DDG, come on Saturday. That's when I'm going to see Michael. Okay, so let's see. Okay, cool, cool. And then Josh be always saying C19. Mm -hmm. Yep, yep, yep. Uh, they have a Mickey plush. Okay, well, as we're getting through it, cool. All right, you guys. Well, that is it for tonight. I got to work tomorrow, so we're going to end it there. I want to thank everybody for joining us and on Marianne the stream. And Marianne Chutney a lot. Hi, Marianne. Chutney. Oh, Marianne, you saw the vlog. Oh, my God. He wouldn't stop. You know I, why he kept saying it? Because he wanted me to my try. OCD he wanted in me there. to try something with Chutney, but I was in the middle of eating. But he kept saying, try the Chutney. Eat the Chutney. Eat it. I was like, I'll eat it when I want to eat yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. So, anyway, you guys, thank you for stopping by. I appreciate everybody coming by here. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And if you haven't done so already, make sure you hit the blue thumbs up button on the way out. We appreciate every little part of that. Thank you so very much. You guys all have a good night. And we'll catch you next time. Bye, guys. Bye, guys. See you later. Out.